bagel, baby. Look at that. Oh. I just had one come up and smoke this big ass. That's how we do it. We'll be outdoors, baby. What's going on, guys? Cal Sorensen here from Hobie we'll Outdoors. Oh, we are out on Lake Winnebago. This is probably the favorite place to fish of mine. Uh, it's challenging. It really can be. Uh, however, today wasn't as challenging. It really wasn't. We got lucky. Uh, you don't always get lucky, um, but uh, we did today. Now, you know, the biggest thing I always come into play with is location. And, uh, you know, it took two moves to find this spot. And uh, once we found it, well, we haven't moved since. We've been sitting here for about three hours, and uh, we've had a ton of awesome action, let me tell you. Um, but uh, when I first rolled up here in the sled, um, you know, I marked one fish, got a little eye, uh, whatnot, and then we hooked into the big one, and it all started. And uh, as you guys are seeing right now, you know, we hooked into that first fish on the sled. I popped up the Citadel here, or the Sentinel, I'm sorry, uh, and uh, we started fishing. fish down underneath me right now. Second spot, first keeper eye. Can't beat it, we had a little dink come in before, but got some nice pictures of that. That's going on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Outdoors. Get this one back down. Don't need to be keeping fish right now. Oh, ready to go. All right, so I was getting some marks, and uh, well, they didn't want to cooperate. Got a few walleyes so far here, um, but now I upsized actually to a number three jig and wrap. Again, no bait uh, on it, and uh, this is actually a different color too. This is like the black and gold chrome type pattern. So we're gonna try it out here, jig a little bit, and hopefully get some more fish on the ice. Oh baby, don't come off. Don't come off. Oh, it's a take. Oh my God. Oh, oh it's a take. Oh. Look at that. Yes. Bagel, baby. Look at that. Oh, that is amazing. I can't even fit it on camera. Look at that. Definitely got to get some pictures of this. Oh, there's another one down there. Oh, just a nail. Just a nail. Thanks for the fun. Thanks for the fun. Oh, I know you're cold. Look at you go. Yes. Another successful release. Oh, baby. What a tank. There's another fish down there. Look at that, I released that big one. Now there's another one down there. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't feel my fingers. Oh, I can't feel my fingers. Look at that. Just sitting down there waiting for me. Oh. There he is, he's on it. I gotta get back in the pool. I'm warm. Oh man, what a fish. What a fight. There we go. We upsized that bait. I'm, 
I'm still shaking, you know. It was a nice fish. It really was, you know, not a monstrous pig by any means, but definitely a respectable fish here for the Winnebago system. Got that one left back down, but it goes to show you, we just upsized uh, that bait going from the number two to the number three. Again, no bait on here, but it was the bigger profile that made the difference. That fish right there just inhaled that bait. So that little bit bigger profile, again, going back to my little pyramid here, you know, is what made the difference. So uh, we know what the fish want now. So we're gonna hurry up and wait here, jigging aggressively, trying to call some more fish in uh, because we know what the fish want. And we're gonna get to Set the recorder up. Hey, hey, up to pipe. Come on up. I'll let you go. Don't worry. Yeah, there is his brother. I knew there was two of you down there. But you keep moving. Find the fish. Get some awesome table fare, have some awesome fun. Look at that, yes. Down the pipe. All right, thanks little guy. You know, I get a lot of questions, I really do. And uh, you know, I try to answer them as best as I can, but there's two places that I always tell people to go. One is the YouTube channel, obviously, um, and the second one is badgersportsman.com. Uh, I've been writing in Badger Sportsman for many years, and uh, you know, I focus on the Winnebago system a lot on my articles and stuff. Last one was on the hidden jewels of the, oh! Then it just came out of nowhere. Last one was on uh, the hidden jewels of the Winnebago system, um, Lake uh, Winnicani and uh, Lake Butamore and stuff. And uh, if you're a subscriber to Badger Sportsman, just a little dink guy there, but if you're a subscriber to Badger Sportsman, um, you actually get uh, access to all the past articles. You know, jump on there, badgersportsman.com, pick up a subscription and uh, grab a cold pop, sit back, and start reading, because there's a lot of information on Badger Sportsman's online archive at badgersportsman.com. Drop right past him. We got three on the flasher right now. Three on the flasher. Here's comes one. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on up the pipe. What do we got? Oh. An upside down whitey. Oh, he got all wrapped up on the juicer. Gotta be careful. Look at that one. Yeah. Well, guys, an awesome day out here on Winnebago, I should say. Fun few hours. You know, we got some walleyes, uh, we got on a school of white bass, uh, but I think I actually deleted a ton of my footage uh, accidentally, so I just switched up memory cards. Uh, I'm not too happy about that, but uh, I went off Merritt Ave today instead of um, Merritt Street. I know some people misspeak uh, and where's Merritt Street? Where's this, you know? Um, but it's actually Merritt Avenue, okay? So this whole Merritt uh, Ave launch here is ran by the Otter Street Fishing Club. So if, you head, if you're heading out here, make sure to donate and uh, support our clubs no matter where you're going off the lake because uh, those plow trucks, well, they don't run for free. They don't run on water. So gasoline costs money and uh, we gotta be able to uh, donate to our clubs and support our clubs. Otherwise, we're not gonna have the safe or safer access that we do. So um, oh, here we go. Might uh, be, look at them all. Look at them all. Holy great pots. I gotta get this other camera going here. What are they? What are they? Oh. Oh. Whoa. Just hammered it. I better get the transducer out of the way for this one. 
Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be a good fish to end on here. Whatever. It, oh. I'm going to stand up for this one. Oh, man. What is this? Oh, it's a dandy eye. Oh, let's see if it comes up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Talk about a fish to end it. Oh, baby. Look at that one. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> oh, that is an awesome fish to end it. We're going to get this one back down, and uh, we're going to call it good. So until next time, tight lines. Stay dry. Oh, that one was ready to go. 